On Saturday afternoon, Lake Bemidji was home to the happiest, coldest group of football players as the Beavers football team was victorious for their ninth straight homecoming game. But getting there was a lot more difficult than in years past. Happy times on the sidelines for Sioux Falls early, but things changed pretty quickly after that. Gabe Watson entered as the nation's second leading rusher, had three touchdowns on the game. This one from 39 yards out, and the Cougars, they would jump out to a 21-3 lead. But then the comeback began. Andrew Lukowski in the Wildcat follows his blockers, gets in from five out, makes it 21-9. They go for two. Lukowski in the Wildcat once again, looking like a young Tim Tebow with a jump pass to Mac Gross. 21-11, cuts it to 10. At the end of the third quarter, Jared Henning showing off the arm, hits Jamison White from 40 yards out in stride. That cuts it to a three-point game. And with three minutes left in the fourth quarter, Lakowski again doing it all day long. His second touchdown from the Wildcat. And the defense makes a stop, leading to a hard-fought dip in the lake for the Beavers. They win 25-21. And even when things looked bleak, Beavers knew they had what it took to make a memorable comeback. We knew at halftime the game wasn't over. We, they had two, uh, two decent plays on us on short field, and they, they were able to score on us, and we, we knew that it wasn't over after that. We just had to come back out here and, and play our game, and I uh, play game green defense. It's my senior year. This is my kind of last go around with homecoming, so you know I wanted to make it last and make it count. Um, I definitely did that, especially with the guys. So You know, there's been times where people were uh, – question on who we played a little bit uh, and I was like hey we'll play anybody anytime and so just had a chance to play Sioux Falls I'm like hey let's do it let's get a big gate let's get the crowd into it because the, the, the people and the fans were phenomenal that was one of the most electric environments I've been at the chat in the fourth quarter so it all worked out extremely well. And the team getting recognition after their 5-1 and one start receiving votes in the coaches poll for the first time since early last year. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.